Have you heard about diesel oxidation catalyst or DAKI? It is typically installed in the exhaust system of a diesel engine upstream of other after-treatment devices like diesel particulate filters DPF, or selective catalytic reduction SCR, systems. DASI helps convert harmful pollutants, carbon monoxide, hydrocarbons, and some particulate matter, into less harmful substances using oxygen. It is positioned close to the engine to ensure it reaches the necessary operating temperature quickly, which enhances its efficiency in oxidizing pollutants. Dock consists of a substrate made of ceramic or stainless steel. It has a honeycomb structure to increase surface area for better efficiency. It contains a catalytic coating of precious metals like platinum (PT), palladium (PD), and rhodium (RH), which helps oxidize pollutants into less harmful gases. The complete oxidation process inside dock involves three key steps. First, oxygen molecules bond to the catalytic surface. Next, exhaust pollutants, like carbon monoxide and hydrocarbons, diffuse to the catalyst and react with the oxygen. Finally, the reaction produces carbon dioxide and water vapor, which then exit into the exhaust stream. These oxidation reactions follow specific chemical formulas. For example, hydrocarbons in the exhaust react with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water vapor. Similarly, carbon monoxide is oxidized into carbon dioxide, reducing a dangerous pollutant into a harmless gas. As a result, the dock helps eliminate toxic compounds, reducing both emissions and the unpleasant odor of diesel exhaust. But not all oxidation reactions are beneficial. Some can lead to unintended consequences. For example, sulfur dioxide in diesel fuel can oxidize to form sulfur trioxide, which then reacts with water to create sulfuric acid. This process can lead to the formation of sulfate particulates, increasing total particulate matter emissions, especially when high sulfur diesel fuel is used. The dock also plays a vital role in reducing nitrogen oxide emissions. By converting nitric oxide into nitrogen dioxide, the dock enhances the performance of downstream systems like selective catalytic reduction SCR, and diesel particulate filters DPF. This reaction is crucial for keeping diesel particulate filters clean and maintaining efficiency in modern emission control systems. While nitrogen dioxide is essential for after-treatment systems, it also presents challenges. Compared to nitric oxide, nitrogen dioxide is more toxic, and in areas with heavy traffic, increased nitrogen dioxide emissions can contribute to air quality problems. This issue was first identified in underground mining environments and remains a topic of debate in urban settings. So while the diesel oxidation catalyst plays a critical role in emission control, it's not without its complexities. Understanding its chemistry helps us improve diesel technology and move toward cleaner air. If you found this breakdown insightful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more deep dives into automotive and heavy machinery tech.